In this lecture, we're going to talk about cell phone etiquette. Smartphones are a great tool. They allow us to get a lot more done in a lot less time. But because they're mobile, they allow us to also be available 24-7. Because smartphones are everywhere and used all the time, smartphone etiquette has become a real issue. Over the past few years, smartphone use and misuse has increased dramatically, and it causes everything from general disturbances to road rage. As technology evolves, so must our manners. A little techno courtesy and a little common sense can make your technology experience a lot more pleasant for you and the people around you. So here's a typical example of what we often see. We will be in a meeting, at a restaurant, or just having a conversation with somebody, and suddenly their cell phone rings. Immediately that person jumps up from the conversation and grabs their cell phone and checks their phone, and then proceeds to have a conversation with the person on the other end of the phone. Now I want you to think for a minute, how would you feel if you were in that situation where somebody dropped a conversation with you, they proceeded to answer their phone, and they left you waiting while they proceeded to carry on another conversation with somebody else, even though it turned out that the conversation really wasn't that important. Most of us would feel disrespected, insulted, hurt, or angry. Leaving somebody standing there while you make an unimportant phone call is just plain rude. So when using a mobile phone, be courteous and consider the following. For many of us, the portable phone has become a primary source of communication in the business world. But like the landline, with no visual cues, the words that you use and the tone of your voice is very important. Use the same level of courtesy that you would with a landline. When you answer the phone, smile. The caller can hear it in your voice. And always use a professional sounding greeting, including your name. When you speak, speak slowly and clearly so the caller can understand you. Keep the tone of your voice to a moderate level. Cell phones generally have really great reception, so there's no need to yell into the telephone. And also, keep the background noise to a minimum. Keep your distance. Don't disturb other people while you're talking on the cell phone. Try to keep your calls quick and to the point and chat on cell phones when you're alone and not around other people. Keep personal matters personal. The public doesn't need to hear about your client and it doesn't need to hear about your date last weekend. Quirky ringtones. Quirky ringtones and really loud ringtones can be very annoying in a business setting. So I always recommend keeping your phone on silent, vibrate, or a traditional business ringtone. In many North American cities these days, it's illegal to talk and text while driving. So make sure that you use a hands-free device for your safety and the safety of those around you. When text messaging for business purposes, it should be kept only for the most casual situations and text message communication should be brief and to the point. And when texting anyone for the first time, always make sure you identify yourself in the text message just in case they don't have your contact information in their phone. And remember, just because it's portable, it doesn't mean any time. Don't talk, text, check your email, or plan your day any time that you may be disturbing somebody else. And remember to turn your portable device off under these circumstances. Mobile devices should be turned off during meetings, a public event like while watching a movie, a play, or any other kind of performance, in places of worship, weddings, and funerals, at a lecture or in a classroom, in restaurants, unless of course you're alone, in someone else's home or office, which we've already talked about, in hospitals or any public places where you may be disturbing others, such as public transportation or even in an elevator.